to do to unwind from a long week? Some good music. All right. I love that, right? Don't you? Absolutely. We got Michael Husky in the house right now getting ready for a big show. Tell me a little bit about the lineup that we can expect to see. Well, this this shows a solo performance <clears throat> that okay. I'm doing tomorrow night at uh, Billy's on Broadway. Okay. We may have a surprise guest uh, show up there, but you never know at you these shows. You never know. Local artists show up. Who knows who shows up? Every every different place I play, um, it's always a surprise. So. Okay, Billy's on Broadway. So tell me what the vibe is going to be. It's going to be like an intimate type setting. Tell me what we can expect to see. Well. Um, Probably a lot of baseball fans will be okay. smiling in and out of there because we've got bobblehead night right down at the park. Mm -hmm. So um, there'll be a big, I think, a big mix of people that like all kinds of music. I do uh, Americana. People are like, what's what's Americana? Right. So I'm yeah. glad you said that because I was wondering the same thing. I was like, does everybody else know? So tell me uh, a little about, like, just kind of describe it for me for those not familiar with the genre. So basically, you know, most of the shows I start out at what I call the apex of Americana, which is when Uncle Ferlin, our, our famous or somewhat famous uh, St. Louis icon, uh, who's famous in the country music and, uh, well, he's famous in rockabilly country music and, you know, old country, I guess you'd call him, because he was a mentor to Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, Merle Haggard, all these guys. He was kind of the, the guy to see there for a while. Um, with Wings of a Dove and all these other hits. So I start off telling some stories about him and his buddies, Johnny and Elvis and all so that. So some some storytelling music. going on. Yeah, a little bit. And then okay. we move forward into rock, folk, all kinds of stuff uh, through the ages until current, uh, you know, kind of current music. Some of it's original, some of it's uh, covers made to sound original, some of it's originals left alone. Uh, so a little bit of everything. Okay, uh, what type of audience or, or person do you think would most enjoy your performance? I think people who like, you know, good old classic rock and country blues uh, music and want to hear something a little different. I like to, I like to change songs and, and move them from genre to genre to kind of tell the story of Americana and how, you know, it all really did start. Uh, it all, it's all derivative of gospel, which is interesting because his first big hit was, well, his first... I guess he had two number ones and a number two and a number three before this, but his biggest hit of all time was Wings of a Dove, which is interesting to see a gospel song cross over to the top of the country and then top of the pop charts. I don't think it's ever been done before. So we tell those stories, but it's it's mostly rock, country, folk, blues kind okay. of stuff. So. All right, it's sounding really versatile. We have a clip that you uh, left for us. Let's take a listen to that. <laughs> All right, so uh, tell me a little bit about this clip that you left for us. Well, this is a song I wrote for my 100-year-old grandmother. Oh, wow. Who lives outside of, well, she's from uh, St. Louis, but she lives out in the New Millie, Wentzville area. I love the title. Daddy's Worn Out Bible. It's about a, a letter she had me read her that my deceased biological father, who was a bit estranged from us, uh, had written her uh, about an experience he had. And uh, then she handed me his old worn out Bible. So that's what that song's about. But we just finished that one in the studio along with a brand new version of Wings of a Dove that you can download for free on AmericanaRoadshow.com. So you can go on there and see everything I'm doing and uh, getting ready to go to Asia on a little tour uh, that could be a bigger tour for the month of August. Okay. Uh, Thailand and Korea. So we'll be producing some music over there too and uh, telling some more stories. I love that. The storytelling is my favorite part. We're going to hear some more from him, so make sure to stick around. We have more for you. And uh, make sure you take note of this performance. Go and check him out. It's really uh, unique and versatile. I'm loving it. We'll be right back with more guys on the 9 a.m. Stick with us.